Condition is everything. Social media watch dealers are not your friends. It's actually the craziest fire damage I think I've ever seen. I am the fastest paying watch company out there. It's a business, they wanna make money, I wanna make money. But what I'm not gonna do is lower my standards and hit you with a subpar watch. All right, what's going on YouTube? Welcome back to the channel. Guys, this is just a nice video of stuff that I've been compiling over the last few weeks. Had a ton of stuff going on, a lot of moving parts. You guys are gonna see some major revamps to both the website and basically all the efforts that I'm putting in trying to make Horology Exchange grow, both as a company, as a brand. It's not just another watch dealer here. This is me trying to make this into a real company, into a serious powerhouse in the watch industry. With that being said, I also want this video to be a reminder to the mass public out there, anybody that watches this video, you can't trust everybody, all right? There's tons of people posting online and this is coming from someone who has to post online in order to make sales. It's not always what it seems, pay attention. This could always happen to you. Month's not over, but we've had a fantastic month. We're gonna get this video started with just a few pieces that just came in, as well as something that may or may not make it into a restoration phase, but this is probably one of the coolest watches I've ever seen. So let's get on with today's video. So first to the fresh arrivals, we have a brand new 126710BLNR Batgirl. So this is the GMT, obviously with the blue and black insert on the Jubilee bracelet. Personally, one of my favorite watches, this is a great everyday piece, but it's still really cool. I mean, you can't go wrong with a Batman or a Batgirl. This watch is brand new, 2024, comes as a complete set, white tag, green tag, box, books, everything. Something like this will be up on the website for $17,500. Next up, we have a watch and box only piece. This is a 16014, and I mean, just take a look at this condition. Look at this bracelet. Phenomenal, fully linked, stainless steel, 16014 reference. Can't really go wrong, white gold fluted bezel, that beautiful silver stick dial, and it has this crazy cream patina on all of the loom and matching hands. This is a phenomenal condition watch, something like this, it's gonna be up for 4,500 bucks. And I'm pretty sure that this thing is entirely unpolished. But the bracelet, super hard to come by like this, so this is a great pickup. Last but not least, we have a 116660. This is the Deep Sea Sea Dweller. Now this watch is entirely unpolished, phenomenal condition, and it was actually just serviced. Last thing it needs is just a light touch up and it'll be perfect, ready to go. 2011 watch card, tags, everything like that. You can pick this up for $9,000. This watch is not for sale. However, this out came to me. So I'm gonna show you guys as I unbox. This is the first time me seeing it in person. Check this out. This is a 16233, no holes case, large diamond dial. This is an anniversary diamond dial. And I mean, obviously, if you couldn't tell, this thing has some fire damage. This is actually the craziest fire damage I think I've ever seen. Wow. We're gonna have to dive into this. I'm gonna give it its own video just as an introduction, but we gotta see what's really wrong with it. Client's gotta approve it, and then maybe we'll get a restoration out of it. But for now, let's start moving over to the video. So we're starting this one off with condition, condition, condition. Remember that, put it in the back of your head because it's gonna help you later on in this video. This is a 16610 A serial, super late production run, but this is probably the nicest 16610 I've had in quite some time. Now this is going out to my man, David, who did a nice trade deal. I know that he's enjoying this watch. I mean, it's perfect. This is the prime example. This is a perfect example of a vintage five digit Submariner. It wore phenomenally. And I mean, the condition was just absolutely perfect. It looks like it was just produced, honestly. So enjoy that. And then my paddock, 5164A. I called it a 5167 throughout the video. So, but here's a quick negotiation. It's one of my favorite paddocks and I can't tell you how many I've sold this year. It's freaking crazy that I've sold more paddock Aquanaut travel times than I think stainless black subs. It's wild times, but let's give Chris a call here. It's also posted pretty cheap. Yeah, no, it looks really mint, but like, what can we do on this price? I wanna say that I'm probably the cheapest listed anywhere. Honestly, it's a complete set. Oh, I mean, where do you wanna be? I'm asking 65K on it. I think that's more than fair. I, I really don't think anybody else is asking anything close. 
I mean, I'm looking to do 62. We could do that wire like today. 62, I definitely cannot get to. It's probably close to my cost after polishing everything. If you're serious and you're ready to wire today, I would come down to like 64 and a half. Once again, I think that's extremely fair. I mean, does it have the pusher? Uh, yes. I don't think the pusher was even used. Hold on, I can tell you right now. I have a picture. I might be incorrect. It has everything minus the serial tag, but I mean, the watch is, you know, once again, nine years old at this point. But yeah, the pusher is still sealed up in paddock packaging. I mean, 64.5 gets it done. I mean, let's close it there. I mean, there, I really don't got wiggle room for that. Like 63, 63.5. I, I can't get the 63 or 63.5. Uh, Bro, I'm not uh, making Peter, that much. I, I, I kid Peter, you not. I, I know, but I wish I was making that much money to the point where I had that type of room. I, otherwise, I would do it for you. I have no problem. 60, 64, 64 close it today. That's good. I'll send you an invoice. You send me a wire and I'll get it out today. All right, screw it. 64, done. All right, cool. Done deal. All right, thank you. And there we go. Done deal. Paddock 5167A, one of my favorite watches. 2015 complete set. Sold right off of Instagram. If you're not following me on Instagram, make sure that you follow Horology Exchange. All the deals, all the steals get posted there first. Two pieces going out, the IWC Teal Green Dial Ingenieur, beautiful watch, and then a Polar Explorer. These things have been selling like crazy. 1601 is absolute dog water. It's embarrassing that these types of things are getting sold. And more importantly, this is a public figure, right? Social media watch dealer. That's why I'm telling you guys, they are not your friends. Now, I don't wanna make that sound like Oh, wait a minute, I'm everybody's friend. No, not at all. But I hold myself to a higher standard. I'm not just trying to make a little bit of money here. I'm not just trying to make a video. I would never sell something like this. And it infuriates me more that this actually came out of New York. Not going to say who, obviously. But this watch was sold by someone who's pretty well known on all these social media sites. And ultimately, this guy got wrecked. So we're gonna give him a call and I wanna tell him exactly what it is. Hey, so um, I got the watch in, you know, pretty much what happened. Like, how did you actually buy this thing? Or, you know, like what, what led you up to purchasing it through them? To be honest with you, I saw him all over the internet and he told me it was gonna be a great deal and I thought I was getting a good deal. I trusted him and yeah. Like I said, I'm 100% not purchasing it just because of the condition. But the problem is I would never even sell this watch. This is a pure wholesale bottom of the bin type of thing. You're going to take a loss. And how much did you actually pay for this? I paid 3,900. No! Watch has incorrect end links. Once again, the bracelet is jacked up. Incorrect upper end links. You know, the hands are incorrect for this model. There's a dent on the dial. It, it's just, it, once again, I feel bad for you. I genuinely do. But this is 100% not in the condition that I personally would sell it. And he won't take it back. Did you offer it back? And he said no? He said no. Won't buy it back. Didn't even give you a purchase price. No. I mean, that just literally goes to show. You're losing money. You're taking a major loss. Personally, to me, I wouldn't buy this watch. I would buy it for the movement price only. Like, just the internals. You gotta be kidding me, man. Obviously, it wasn't me that sold it. The only reason that, you know, we even got put in touch was because we have a mutual friend. Now, obviously... Yeah, I wish it was you. If it was me that told you this watch, I promise you we wouldn't be having this conversation. I could, I could 110% assure you. We can't do anything about this watch now? Can't. I will not physically sell this watch. I will not offer it to anybody. I could. The only thing that I could do for you is post it wholesale. And I think that this watch should be around like 2300 bucks. So you're going to take like a $1,600 loss. It is what it is. There is there's genuinely zero recourse. And once again, I'm saying this in, in the nicest yeah, way possible. I don't want to expose that. I, uh, not here. You can do whatever the hell you want. I mean, it sucks and it's unfortunate. But listen, like I said, the only way for you to get out of this watch is going to be to dump it wholesale. It, you have to dump it. Or you could just keep it, wear it. I mean, it's still running. It doesn't run great. But, you know, like you could still wear it if you want. Don't want it no more. Honestly, I'll, no, I get it. I'll take the 12, take the 26. You could get it from the 26. I'll try for you, but there's no guarantee. You can just try your best, honestly. I don't even want it no more. I'm very stressed out. No, I get it. Oh. And this is where the power of social media is actually disgusting. All I know is he purchased his watch. It's a 1601. He purchased it from someone 
that's well known in social media, right? Purchase watch from was $4,000. Now for reference, now this watch does have a bracelet. It just came back from a full service, full overhaul, full refinish, the whole nine. This is what a mint 1601 looks like. I'm talking everything from the dial to the bezel to the case. This is a very clean example, right? Something like this, I would sell for $39.50 to $4,000 with a box shipped and delivered to you. This guy, unfortunately, he bought this watch. Didn't even get an invoice, didn't even get a receipt. Pretty wild. Okay, whatever. At least he still has the Zell receipt. He bought this watch. This watch is absolutely worthless. Social media is going to be the death of some watch dealers. It's going to take a few more deals like this for someone to get exposed, for someone to just be absolutely blackballed and just drag through the mud all over the internet. And this is why I take conditions so seriously. Nothing like this would have ever left my hands, let alone for almost $4,000. This guy just based, honestly, I would have had more fun pissing on the money. That's kind of what he did in the sense. And once again, Nick, I feel pretty bad for you. In the same sense, you kind of just didn't buy who was selling the watch with their name, their image, and whatever it was, you wanted to be a part of that. And I understand that 100%. You know exactly who you are. And I genuinely hope that this guy goes back to you, films it, and exposes it. I'm sorry, if you call yourself a watch dealer, there is no way in hell you looked at this watch, said, beautiful, good to go. This should end up in an end user's hands. Absolutely not. And there's just so many signs of just poor quality control. Always buy the dealer, the dealer. Condition is everything. Spend a little bit more money. Purchase a watch that is actually clean. Don't go for the lowest value. The lowest value is always gonna kill you in the long run. Something like this, factory diamond dial. Look at the bracelet, unpolished, super mint, box papers. Something like this, like come on. Spend a little bit more money. This is your hard earned money. You wanna reward yourself, you want something nice. Spend a little bit more. Buy condition, always buy condition. It goes with everything in life. Buy value retention. Don't just try and buy something. Unfortunately, in this case, this guy even spent all the money. He spent the money and should have got a nice condition watch and still got f Social media watch dealers are not your friends. It's a business. They want to make money. I want to make money. But what I'm not going to do is lower my standards and hit you with a subpar watch. It's f ridiculous. Don't let it happen to you. All right, enough with the rants, let's get back to some sales. And this is where condition, condition, condition comes into play. Look at this watch, a 18238. These things are getting extremely hard to find. If you have one for sale in condition like this, let me know. I'm paying extremely strong on these because I can't find them anywhere. All right, then I also sold a 1657 The Explorer to my man James. He's buying this actually as a gift for his brother's birthday. Guy said he cried when he got it. I'm super happy to hear that, especially in condition like that. And of course, back-to-back -back day date sales. Guys, once again, these are extremely hard to find in condition like this. It's near impossible. Beautiful champagne dial, absolutely zero bracelet stretch, fully linked, green case back sticker, the whole nine. These are phenomenal watches and some of the best budget-friendly solid gold watches money can buy. Day date 36. If Tony Soprano could wear one, so could you. Don't complain about the size. Peter, I'm, hey. on, I'm on the phone with my client. She said, if we can do it, let's go. All right, I was just going to say, perfect. So I just called her. We're good to go. Um, I just need her full name and her email so that they could register it under her. Hey, yeah. Lydia, how are you? I'm good, thank you. Awesome. Well, I found the watch. It's brand new. It's going to come directly from the store. They're going to register it under you as well. So the warranty will be in your name and everything like that. I think a wild wire transfer, most stores appreciate that, don't they? Or exactly, yeah. So like wire transfer is, is usually best because then there's really no fee associated with it. Credit card, I can't take credit card, unfortunately, just because the processing fees at this point are just ridiculous. Yeah, it's a lot, it, it's genuinely a lot easier. It'll all be on the, inf uh, the invoice well, and I'll send you over an email. It'll come from my, my company email. So if you have any other questions, you could you could feel free to reach right out to me directly. Thank you. There we have it. Deal done. Shout out to you, Lydia. I hope you have a wonderful birthday and enjoy your new Cartier in good health. Quick, simple, easy. I love deals like this. Guys, if you're looking for a brand new piece from an AD, from Bulgari, Cartier, stuff like that, 
there is a good chance I could get it to you at a discount. It'll be brand new. It'll be registered under you. So reach out. Another deal done. We're on to the next. Keeping up with the Cartier theme, this is a white dial large Santos. You guys saw this in the unboxing video, brand new 2024. Please stop asking me if I have more for the same price. Guys, I don't. I could always get another, but prices will vary. Now we have this Omega, this blue dial. This was a phenomenal looking watch once again. This is going out to my man Christian, all the way out in the British Virgin Islands. Yes, guys, we do international shipping. However, you have to pay for shipping costs as well as duties and import. I don't know what all the percentages are, so double check before you purchase something. So the audio might be a little bit shaky here. I'm not mic'd up. This watch just came in. It's a 16014. Really nice condition overall. Has really nice cream loom. Everything matched, but I noticed the second hand was pitted. That's just normal oxidization. It does happen. However, I'm going to replace it. I have brand new genuine ones, so why not just replace it? Obviously, it's costing me money, but my OCD won't allow it. The guy wants the watch polished. Of course, I'm going to take care of that as well. And as I was taking this thing apart, I noticed just a few little specks of dirt. And once again, when everything comes in, it gets fully inspected, gets fully gone through, authenticated. Make sure it's running properly if it's a pre-owned watch. And in this case, I felt like the winding was a little bit gritty, so obviously, Pull the automatic module, check all the pivots like I normally do, check the oscillating weight axle, make sure everything is good, everything's good under the microscope, we're not looking at dry cups, etc, etc. So one thing led to another, and now this thing was basically taken apart. I ran it through the cleaning machine, I'm going to clean this whole thing back up, just regulated the watch prior, so it's running perfectly. Technically, I did not have to do this. It was winding perfectly fine, but I still felt like something wasn't right. So it's just mind boggling once again that, you know, people are so quick to send money and you just send money to people that are just buying these watches, and just flipping them. I didn't have to do any of this stuff to the watch and I'm not sitting here bragging about it. It's just a testament to my character and more or less what I do here, the type of service that I provide. Once again, OCD level through the f roof. If there's a problem, it's going to be rectified before it's even a problem. All right, so I'm going to get this thing put back together, all cleaned up, and then we're going to ship it off to a client. Now, I don't know what it is, but the month of July, I have been buying a ton of watches. Pretty much every single day, guys, if you're looking to sell anything, go right over to the website, horologyexchange.com. Let me know what you have for sale, and I'll make you an offer. Sold this blue dial ceramic bezel speedy. This is the diver model. Great looking watch. And then this was one of my favorites. Shout out to Joe. Joe has been a longtime supporter of this channel. Pretty much since I first started, he was actually probably the first person to buy a watch from me as soon as I started this channel. This Michael Schumacher Omega Speedmaster with the white ghost flag dial. Phenomenal looking watch. Joe, I hope you're enjoying this as always. So now you guys are about to hear a quick PSA. I just wanted to say these things because everyone always freaks out on me when watches are not available. The Rose Gold Yachtmaster actually just sold. Now it sold to another dealer. This watch sold for $13,800. I was asking on the website $14,500. Prices that I'm asking are decently close to wholesale. Realistically, that few hundred dollar differential that accounts for shipping, polishing, or warranty, or whatever else. I just kind of wanted to bring up, I'm not backed by millions of dollars by any means. Obviously, over the years of doing this, I have accumulated a fair amount of money, and that's how I'm able to keep myself, you know, consistently in a position where I can buy every single day. But that also comes with me needing to turn over inventory pretty frequently. So I've had a few people, you know, tell me, Oh, it's a great deal, but it's gone already, or it's already sold. Yes, absolutely. I can pretty much justify something if it's a few hundred dollars away from what I'm asking on the website and a dealer is willing to pay that minus a few hundred dollars, I'm going to let the watch fly. So whenever new things come in, whenever I do an unboxing, a lot of these watches are pretty much selling same day, if not within the same week. I'm sorry, guys. I wish I could hold on to absolutely everything and, you know, can keep these deals around for you guys. But sometimes it is hard. You have to remember, I am self-funded. That being said, a package came up and it was a few hundred thousand and I needed to pull that money out of thin air. I could realistically get something done. But I do want to make that known to you guys. So if you see something on the website, make an offer. All right, that's the best thing that I could tell you guys. Don't, don't wait a week. Don't wait two weeks and then ask me, hey, is this still around after you shopped around for a few weeks and you couldn't find a better deal? Or reach out to me. And more than likely, I will be willing to work with you guys. I would 100% rather a watch that I'm selling 
end up in one of your hands on your wrist than in another dealer showcase. Why? Because you, you're going to wear it. You're going to enjoy it. Dealer, they're going to flip it. They're going to make money. It is what it is. It's the way that this business works and it's the way of the world. Everyone's got to eat. Everyone's got to make money. If you see something, act on it. Trust me, don't wait a week. Don't shop around. If you see that it's a good deal, just reach out to me. I'll try and work with you best I can. Some pieces obviously have more room than others, but yes, reach out, horologyexchange.com. More orders going out. I've sold a ton of Note 8 subs and surprisingly, I sold a lot of Black Date subs this month. Now, here's another watch. You guys saw it in a video. This is the 16013 with that silver tapestry dial. Joe picked this watch up. Phenomenal looking unit. Pretty much the best budget-friendly watch under 7000 bucks. Can't go wrong with it. Joe, I hope you enjoy it for years to come. A brand new black sub is going out. This is a 126610LN. Guys, I have plenty of these available to me. Plenty. I think I have three or four of them in stock. All of them, 14500 If you want to hit me with a wire, be a little bit less. We'll see what we can do there. Now this, this is the creme de la creme. Can't go wrong with a date just 41, but the Wimbledon dial on this, the rhodium green yellow gold mix, I mean, it just pops. Can't go wrong with it. Brand new 2024. This watch is now available. 17,500. Now that's going to do it for this video, guys. Don't forget to subscribe. If you're looking to buy, sell, trade, head over to the website. And don't forget to follow me on Instagram. All the deals and steals will be posted there first. I want to thank everyone for watching once again, and I hope to catch you on the next one.